Hi, Genki here and welcome to my video store tour of Labi Electronics Store in Shibuya, a small taste of Japan. So here we are in Shibuya. And here is the Shibuya Labi Store, it has six floors of electronics and goods. So let's cross the road. I have no idea what these things are. Hey. They look like they have a small like a raffle game at the front of the store. So let's go in. So games are on the sixth floor. So let's go up to the sixth floor. Up we go. Sixth floor. And the doors are opening, and here we are. This floor is full of toys and video games, as well as action figures and some gutches. A little mini arcade area there. So we go over to this side, which is the video game section. So here we have ad for Street Fighter VI. Uh, Etrian Odyssey collection and Final Fantasy 16. We have a cool banner here with the artwork of some of the icons. As well as the uh, artwork of Clive and some more icons. Really cool display they have there. And over here we have a Koei Tecmo display with games like Wild Hearts, Wola, and Atelier Riser 3, as well as this horse racing game. So there's a little cool display there at the front of the store next to the escalators. So let's go further in. We're by the PlayStation section. There's some leaflets here and like a dragon Ishin display. And some more marketing materials. For Atomic Heart. And they're showing some new releases here as well. So that's the PlayStation section. We'll have a closer look at it in a bit later. They have uh, loads of Tears of the Kingdom marketing in the store. And get some stickers. And on the floor as well they have um, Tears of the Kingdom marketing. And here we can see the Switch section. And here's the stock checklist. As you can see, all of the switches and games are in stock. Circle means in stock in Japan. And there's some cabinets with some games and switches here at the front. Hey Pikachu and you. Over here we have a Final Fantasy 16 display. And a poster for the Splatoon of Splatfest. And a PlayStation stock check. leaflets. So this is what the store looks like and some more cool Nintendo marketing. The cool Final Fantasy 16 stand here showing trailers. There's a 10% consumption tax reduction if you are a tourist. So let's look at the game software in the Switch section. We have the, some of the OLED models on display, including the new Zelda OLED. And the normal Switch, as well as the OLED Switch. And 
And yeah, here you can pick up the cards to go pay at, at the front. You can just pick up the card from here, so it's a more simple to hand in at the cash register. And here's uh, also some software, download software cards, or you can pick up a card for the box version to give at the cash register. And here's display for Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, this video is from before the Tears of the Kingdom release, that's why the Splatoon Splatfest time is there and the Zelda boxes say pre-order. So here's the Pikmin section, we've got Pikmin 3 and a Pikmin 4 display here. And we have some amiibos, platoon amiibos, they printed loads of them so there's still loads left over. There's a Pokemon section with the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet DLC and you can pre-order the Pokemon Go Plus Plus funny name right that you can use for Pokemon Sleep and there's a Splatoon section a Kirby section yeah you can see all the popular characters in Japan here and towards the end we have all the other software for Nintendo Switch so many different games stacked there you see Live Live Crisis Core Octopath Traveler Loads and loads of games you can find in this section for Switch. And they're all ordered alphabetically based on the Hiragana alphabet. And over on this side we have the accessory section with loads of controllers and cases. See some cool unique controller designs there. And loads and loads of Switch cases. So yeah, you can see the amount of accessories they have for the Switch here. Japan is definitely Switch crazy. So many accessories. Screen protectors too. Lots of cases. And I like these banners above as well. So we'll have a close look at the PlayStation section. Got an ad for Final Fantasy 16. And you can see the, see the different color DualSense controllers and the new releases for PS5. And then over here we have um, some ads for Street Fighter and the rest of the more older PS4 software. They still have loads and loads of PlayStation 4 software left over. And you can see some ads for and here are the new releases for PlayStation 4, such as the Mega Man Battle Network Collection and Cuphead. And we have some older games here for PlayStation 4. Lots and lots of older PS4 games still left over at this store. Like Mia, Fake Invented 2. Thirteen Sentinels and loads more. PlayStation Four. You can see some of the boxes are a bit discolored because they've been on the shelf for so long, and the signs. You even have some old Xbox One games over there. This is the zero Z rated games section. And we also have some leftover 3DS games. You can see they're quite old as the signs are quite worn out and discolored. But we have loads and loads of uh, 3DS games left over here too.
as well as uh, all the PlayStation 3 games. And loads and loads of Vita games too, all left over. They're still quite pricey, they're around 4,000, 5,000, 6,000 yen even. So yeah, the prices have kept high and that's probably why they're not selling. <laughs> and they've been on the shelf for so long. Loads of cool classic Vita games. And finally we have the Xbox section over here too. We've got some Game Pass cards, they're showing Minecraft Legends and loads of leftover Xbox One games. And they have a leaflet too for Xbox Game Pass. Discover your next favourite game, it says. So they're trying to advertise games like Monster Hunter and Persona. And Game Pass. So yeah, we've got the Game Pass cards and uh, Xbox cards. So that's the Xbox section there. You can see yeah, a lot of Game Pass, not so many new software. And we have a PlayStation Plus section with the PS Plus network cards. And some uh, steering wheels and fighting sticks. And finally at the front of the store you can see all the PS5 models are in stock. Including the PS VR 2, very pricey. And they have both Xboxes, the X and the S. So, so that was a tour of Labby in Shibuya. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Matane!